welcome to Saving Miller. The weather here has become beautiful again. Nice uh, warm days, but not too warm, not hot anymore. But the nights have cooled off. So here's what's going to happen. All this great green Bermuda grass that you see is going to go dormant, and it's going to be fast usually. So this next week, it's uh, we're going to have some really low, low temperatures at night, as low as 40 degrees. So what we have to do is plant a winter type of grass, uh, just an annual that's going to grow fairly quickly. And this will be the primary feed for the cows over the winter. Um, they will also get a little bit of hay to help balance them out. And then probably in November, um, there won't be enough here for them to eat at all, even if my grass comes up pretty quickly. So <clears throat> we've done this before and it works really well. So we, two years ago, we seeded the entire pasture here with the annual rye, and then we let it go to seed the next year. That second year, it came up very, very nicely. Now, I suspect that we're not going to have that kind of success this time around, even though we did let it go to seed again. It was a little bit thinner last year, and it didn't grow as well. But the pasture is much healthier. The, the soil is healthier and all of that. So I decided we're going to overseed it again this year, and uh, do the same thing. And so we're gonna get Old Unfaithful going, hopefully, and uh, use it to pull the broadcast spreader around out here. Now broadcast spreaders are not very uh, good at, you know, getting a good even uh, layer of seed down. <laughs> um, even at its best, the one that I have does kind of a mediocre job. And so I'm gonna keep it on the light side, hopefully, and uh, make two passes over everything so I get a good even coat. So let's see if we can get this done. So this thing will put on a bag of seed pretty quickly. So this year we're not using just straight rye. We're using a, a forage blend that comes from Yuma, Arizona. So it's not far from here. And honestly, I don't actually know what it is. It's vivacious and UC-132 and Pronto and PR or something. So, I don't actually know what it is. 
Um, we can tell a little bit about it by taking a look at it. So let's open up a bag and see what it looks like. Now here's a tip that might help you out. So a lot of feed, a lot of seed bags like this have this, this seam on top. And you know, we've all spent many hours trying to unravel this thing and get it to work. Well, if you start on the right side, they're, they're almost always um, stitched from the right side. So if you start on the right side and pull it from the right to the left, it'll come right off. And it'll save you a lot of hassle. So even the ones that aren't quite aren't clearly marked like this, you can do that. Start on the right side, you know, get it untangled and pull it out. So this spreader conveniently holds 50 pounds of seed. So there's some different kinds of seed in there. There we go. Um, honestly, I don't really don't know. There's rye, there's some grass seed in there, maybe some grain, something like that. So I'm a big fan of variety, and I think this is gonna not only be good for the pasture, but it'd be good for the, for the cows too. It should give them some good protein. Might actually be better than just the straight rye. I only use this spreader once a year, so it's, uh, it works okay. It actually does a pretty good job. So, gotta get this bag out. Okay, we got all the seed down, and hopefully we won't lose too much to the birds. Right now, the seed is down already, and there aren't birds out here, so that's actually a good thing. I think the grass is long enough that it's keeping them keeping the seed down and out of sight and they have to hunt for it a little bit more so i'm excited hopefully this will come up nicely and uh, we'll have a nice green pasture here in the spring so that's all for this week saving miller out <laughs>